On my stream, I got a Discord server full of NES players to read the best Pokemon fanfiction, Legendary Mishaps by Imagination is King. Okay, let's start then. Basically, it's like Seinfeld meets Legends Arceus. That's an odd combination. I mean, this <laughs> first chapter is about Dialga trying to get Nutella, so... Like, just normal Nutella no nuts. I can't believe what you just said. I like Nutella with no nuts, okay? <laughs> it's literally called Nutella. Oh, that's I don't know. why you mentioned Nutella. Oh my god, it's part of the script. Who's Arceus? I think Yuchi would be a good god. What? Wait, me? This Arceus is female, screen. by the way. Oh, god. Just a female? I mean, they call him mum. A... Oh, I did not know that. Okay. Uh, it must be oh, written god. by a British guy. Must... <laughs> <laughs> Dialga was craving Nutella. He was in the kitchen for this reason. Not doing that. He opened the fridge to see the spot he put the Nutella empty. <gasps> no Nutella! Mom! Arceus <laughs> poofed in. Yes, baby time one! No Nutella! This is an issue. I know. Darkrai. Heatran. Arceus poofed them in. Darkrai fell to the ground with his secret teddy. What's uh, <laughs> Where am I? Heatran looked up from his Sudoku puzzle, which he somehow plays with cross-shaped feet. <gasps> Moving on. Uh, we're in the kitchen. I assume you need us, Arceus. Pick <laughs> Dialga and get Nutella and some other stuff too. A list poofed into the air. That would be the legendary food request. Take that credit card and be back by five. Darkrai was half asleep, so all he said was, Okay. Thank you, Mom, for your rock. He tried and grabbed the list, somehow, and grabbed Darkrai and Dialga. Whiskers away, Mom. Poof. Darkrai was having a wonderful dream. He finally managed to ask this lop honey out, and she said yes. Then Mom summoned him to do his ass backwards shopping trip for Dialga's Nutella cravings. Well, what do we need? He tried to spit the list up. Split the list up. He spit the list up? Did he eat it? Darkrai, you get grain, meat, and dairy stuff. Dialga, spread sauces and chips. I'll get sweets and drinks. Darkrai grudgingly grabbed his feet, grumbling about something or other. Dialga bounded off with a shopping cart to find his Nutella. Heatran took a basket and walked off. Darkrai walked to the frozen meat section first. Let's see. Beef, jerky, chicken nuggets. 30 pounds of octopus. Many. What? Who eats that much octopus? Lugia sat at a table with a little bib that had an octopus on it. I hope they hurry up. Meh, I may need a shopping cart. Darkrai floated to the shopping cart pile and pushed one over. Yeah. Beef jerky, check! Chicken nuggets, check! Mini burgers, check! Darkrai walked to the seafood section. Now where's the- A Kraken screech came out of nowhere, much like that tentacle. Ooh, that had to hurt Darkrai. <laughs> Darkrai looked up from his new place in the hamburger meat and said- No! no it, was all. it was all cotton candy and rainbows! A giant octopus was busy terrorizing the seafood section, probably because it saw its cousin from that wedding when it went to break a pillar by super pumping it. Darkrai dusted himself off and turned around to the overgrown Excuse mollusk. Me. I guess you'll be my meat. <laughs> Darkrai's claws glowed what? with a green glow as he prepared an Wait, does Darkrai even know x or... I'm gonna guess the guy who wrote a fanfiction did all his research. <laughs> it is a dark type. Dark types can definitely learn, like, bug type moves. So. Yeah, yeah, to deal can. with psychic. I've never, I've never nerd. seen a Darkrai use x that's why. That's no, why. because it's not it's very good not optimal. You care. Yeah. Anyway, Dialga trotted around the aisle, grabbing what he needed until he came upon oh, the holy oh, oh. grail itself, the Nutella shelf. Except there was only one jar. Just one? They oh dare run God. low on the spread of, well, us? Dialga went to pick it up, but the jar was grabbed by a druidigan. <laughs> hey, what? Buddy, I was here first. Wait till some more comes in. You fool! You do not just wait for Nutella! You find it, and you spread it over your naked body, and lick it up in tasty glory! The Trudigan looked up at the blue time Bro. dinosaur. You, you have some issues that extend my plane of existence. Give it! Never! My traitor this, so bugger off. The Trudigan used Dragon Tail on Dialga and made a break for it. You do not run from God! Dialga tried up a roar of time to stop the blasphemist. Heatron's trip went normally. No problems. Then, he checked on Dialga. Dialga, what the hell are you- He asked for it! Dialga has the jar of Nutella in his mouth and the crispy Drogogon <laughs> under his foot. You know the rules. No using your signature move on the regular passerby unless necessary. But Nutella! So what? I want to slap all of you. Hello! Yeah, <laughs> he yeah. Hello, Darkrai. You, you, you can't! Heatron did a double take at Darkrai. Darkrai was pushing his cart. Now with the giant octopus freshly cut up. What? Yes. How? <laughs> Yeah. And it was terrorizing the food section. 
Luckily, no Japanese schoolgirls were near. Did, did you really just make that joke? But he came from the Japanese, we're all racist. <laughs> oh, wow! Wow! wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bro. Huh, uh, did you get anything else? Yep. Hey, Dialga, what you do? Nutella Anger Strike! <laughs> Dialga replied. Right. Right. All three of them poofed into the kitchen with their food bagged up. We're back! Will the owner of this well, huge, huge friggin' yeah. octopus yeah. please come up? Please come up. Okay. Lugia shouted from somewhere. The Ideas, fact that you post guys them didn't in even fit together was the funnier part. And he trans feet still don't make physical sense. Unless he's secretly Spider Man! Spider Man. Now, the chapter. <laughs> Spider Man. Articuno was in the middle of an argument with Lugia. I'm better because I'm the only ice type here. Red Giants pokes his head through the door. Articuno sighed. Fine. I'm the OC Ice Legend, though. Lugia oh, laughed. Gee. But I'm psychic and flying. Plus, I'm much bigger and stronger than you. Yeah, Articuno really good glared at down at the diving fast. Pokemon. Well, if yeah, you're better, <laughs> may Arceus herself strike me down. It was at this point that. Maybe not Arceus, but irony kicks in. A Hoopa, oh, a, a portal opened up. Hoopa did not open up, a portal opened up. And Hoopa surfed in with sunglasses on her head. And surfing music playing from nothing. She slammed into Articuno and sent him into a wall. My important nerves! Okay, who wants to be Hoopa? And who wants to hear my girl voice for day and <laughs> No! I'll do it. I'll do it. I don't care. Hoopa. We made it, sis. Hoopa Hooper turns to the portal where a dancey floated out before dropping to the floor. Kind of. Hurl. <laughs> oh, come on. It wasn't that bad. I'm still never traveling like that again. Excuse me, but, um, who are you two? Yes, oh, well, I'm Hoopa, and the one vomiting diamonds is my sister, Diancy. Arceus poofed in. <laughs> there are a couple of new legendaries I found. Didn't you create all legendaries? Blink Satoshi Tajiri. Right. Regardless, what shall we do about them? Hmm. Arceus turns to have look at the two. Show, have someone show them around the Hall of Origins. I'll have their council seats right and rooms ready. Hooper raised her hand. Can we have the bunk bed? Arceus Aww. grinned? Hell, I don't know. She doesn't even have a damn mouth. Yes, you may. Yay. Diancy weakly put her arms up. Yay. Lugia um, turns to the diamond fairy. Would you like to see Xerneas for some help? Please. And Articuno too. Why did you forget me? Well, let's start your tour. Latias turns to the two new legends and claps her claws together. Now where do you want to start? The living room or the kitchen? Hooper and Diancy shared a look. Living the living room. room. <laughs> the living room was simple in layout, but the furniture and appliances were top notch. The couch had regular people napping on it, as Reggie Gigas was doing now. The TV was huge, and the cable package had everything. Not to mention Netflix and Hulu. There was beanbags too, plus throw pillows. Jirachi was watching TV, but then turned to greet them when the group walked in. Hey, Latias, showing them around? Yep. What you watching? Oh, just Guardians of the Galaxy. Hey, keep an eye out. The moon duo at it again? Going at it again? New record, though. They went an hour awake without fighting. Darkrai suddenly threw through a wall, followed by Cresselia jumping on him with a squeaky hammer. How dare you eat my fruit loops? She shouted. I'm sorry, you need to put your fucking name on them, you fucking green dirtbag. No, but maybe I'll carve my name in your face. She summoned a psycho cut to prove her point. <laughs> Hooper stared at the two. Diancy giggled. <laughs> they haven't kissed yet. <laughs> a dark pulse and an extra sensory hit her in the face. <laughs> Ow. Hooper glared at the two. Uh, yeah, Latigas face palmed. Let's just move on. Diancy sulked as she held an ice pack on her face. They were now in the kitchen which was similar to the living room, in that it was normal in layout, but everything the newest it could, it could be. The oven was huge, and there was a rotisserie right next to it. The sink was big enough for one of the smaller legends to take a bath in. The fridge was stuffed to the brim with food, mainly for the bigger legends like Groudon and Zygarde, but no Nutella. Speaking of which, Zygarde was getting a snack now. Oh, hello Zygarde. Zygarde turned around with a piece of chicken in his mouth. Yo. Ow, the big order keeper himself. Hooper crossed her arms and gave Zygarde a glance over. You don't look very impressive. <laughs> I was in the game for 300 years. I'm working on my appearance. Because binge snacking totally helps with that. <laughs> Diancy put a hand on Hooper. Stop it. This is how you cause Dilek's farts to catch on fire. But that Magmortar asked for it. He was drunk off fermented berries. Latias stared at the two. So they <laughs> caused Celebi and Sharpedo on us for two weeks, right? <laughs> Keep that in mind. <laughs> Pokemon that streams. What about Pokemon on streams? 
I just want to be every single one that screams. Oh, ah! you could probably be any like really. You must be good at ah! screaming then. <laughs> yeah. Plus a demonstration of screaming. Go. Okay. You guys actually want me to do it? Oh. Yes. You yeah, you said, you said give you a demonstration. Yeah, I think you guys are joking. Do it. Do it, chicken. You do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Ah! Anyway, the tour's next stop was the gym slash practice area, where Mewtwo was busy making it progressively harder for Zekrom to do his push-ups. McGrowdon and Palkia were duking it out. Then they went to the council room, where Arceus, who was wearing a little hard hat, was busy building their chairs. Next was the theatre, where the forces of nature and Giratina were watching Sharpedo Nado. The baths were huge! Basically three Olympic sp swimming pools combined. The only one there, however, was Reshiram, who waved before diving back in. The study was populated by Uxi as always, and Giratina, who was reading a book about the various torture methods used over history. Yep. <laughs> the dining hall was split in two. The long table part was used for holidays, special occasions, and family dinner every Sunday. The other part was the round dining tables, where Azelf, Mesprit, and Deoxys were playing cards. Finally, were the bedrooms. The Latias put down the house rules. You can't be in the boys' room past 10 p.m. <laughs> unless you're- You can stay as long as you like, as the, <laughs> as the rooms are soundproof. No food in the rooms, and you may decorate it how you wish. Latias rounded the corner and headed into the living room with a sleeping Deancey and Hoofer before putting them both on the couch. Free after Reggie Gigas woke up, he finally got out of slow start. Reggie Gigas. And that was chapter two, mainly an introduction for De Hooper and Deancey. But also a chapter hey, that shows off my version of the Hall of Origins. Oh, yeah. I, uh, so what do you think about? I forgot my train of thought. I forgot my train of thought. But... You want to say something about well, something about Hooper the roles we're having? I'm checking no, the comments. It wasn't about the roles. Uh, He's gonna say something the about the fanfic, wasn't he? No, 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 no. no. Oh, oh, it's been so funny so far. <laughs> No, no, no. Yeah. Okay, okay, I remember. I remember what I was gonna say now. What were you gonna say? What is, say like, it? whoever voices Reggie Gigas says it very slowly, just to, just to, just to emulate slow start, you know? Oh yeah. Like, Reggie. What if someone just like? Oh. I hope you enjoyed. And good morning, happy birthday, and good night, whatever. Bye.